your book, The Cleanse. I cannot wait. Now I have this conversation with you. I cannot wait to get my copy and yes. read it. And you are paying homage to like Toni Morrison, beloved. So I want to know like, what was it about like Baby Shug's character that resonates with you the most? So first of all, you know, I'm a, a teacher. I taught Beloved for three years in my classroom. Okay. And in, in general, it was a book I was terrified to teach. I actually didn't want to move to 11th grade English because Beloved was on the docket because I was so intimidated by that book because in hindsight, like I just knew it was spiritually heavy, right? Because mm -hmm. um, there's a lot in Beloved. And... I read it for myself first. And before I even read it, I would carry Beloved around with me. Mm -hmm. I would, um, you know, if there was a, a, com a community altar, I would go place it on that altar. Um, I would take it to the park. Like I needed the energy to be right <laughs> when I got ready to, to read it for myself before teaching it to young folk. Mm -hmm. And when I read it and... I read about baby Shugs. I remember that the one of the first things that Toni Morrison calls her is an unchurched preacher. And that hit me in my bones. Mm -hmm. um, because like I told you, I grew up in the Baptist church, mm -hmm. but I quickly began to understand that that doctrine and um, the religious practices associated with that exclusively were not um, gonna let me be as full and expansive that I wanted to be. And what I wanted to do was follow God, period, mm -hmm. right? Wherever God so, so lead me. So to see Baby Shirley's called an unchurched preacher, yeah. right, immediately made me feel like this is not the sanctified woman. This yeah. is not the woman whose skirt is clean. You know, I always say this is not the one who um, thinks themselves as high or holy or is going to pretend like they've never been through shit. Mm -hmm. And a pressure that I have felt, especially amongst Black elite folk, is Naomi, leave that personal story, leave all that vulnerable shit behind. Mm -hmm. You know, like turn that off and and you know, walk into this, this eliteness um, and, and be in that box. And I tried that and that shit does not serve me. Um, so to again, see Baby Shugs, who was an unchurched preacher, who had been a slave, right? Then say, I'm not only, not only am I gonna move my heart for the spirit of myself, right? Like not only am I going to use this love I got to give for my family, but I'm actually going to invite the collective of black folk to come to a place that I have been so that we can all get in on this loving and we can all get in on this healing, right? Because that's what she does. She has these folks who had to remember what it meant to touch their body, had to learn really in a free way because they had been slaves. Their bodies had been positioned about around labor. And while we're not slaves technically in 2021, I think a lot about how my black woman body is ancestrally exhausted from laboring. 